seen a lot of bugs out but that's common I guess I mean try not to want it to get it out too out of hand but I'm thinking I need to release the chickens So I'm hoping <laughs> the chickens will help me with the bug control. I don't know if it'll work. <laughs> I'm hoping uh, they'll catch on or help me a little bit with the bug control. Come on. As long as they're not digging and like digging up plants and stuff and like munching too much on the food. I, I kind of don't mind them munching a little bit on the food, but when they get out of hand, that's when I have to kick them out. I got this guy. This guy keeps on eating our squash. Let's see if they'll eat him. <laughs> you kidding me? You don't want him? <laughs> oh. Where are you going? Where are you guys going? Help me! Help. Darn chickens. So, <laughs> didn't work like I had envisioned. <laughs> but um, maybe they'll catch on. Maybe I'll do that more. Has, people try Has anybody tried that? You know, letting their chickens roam around the garden for pest control, for bug control? I don't know. You know all that garlic we, we just harvested a few days ago? We did a video on it a couple videos back. Uh, it was 50 garlics. You know, you're supposed to hang them to let them dry if you're not going to use them right away. And we don't have anywhere to store them. What we decided on was storm in the chicken coop that we're not using. <laughs> So the dual purpose chicken tractor, we didn't want to put them in the house. You know, we could have put them in the house, but we didn't want to put them in the house. We need a garden shed. Honestly, we had nowhere else to put them. It was just, it's been raining lately. You know, we wanted them to dry out a bit. This goes back to, you know, using what you have. You can't let, you know, having nowhere to put these things hold you back from growing what you want to grow. But uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep these here probably at least a few weeks, maybe two or three weeks um, to dry them out. But it's dry in here, you know, you got some good airflow. Um, so that's all you need, really. This is our first harvest of some leafy greens. We have some Swiss chard, spinach, some kale, some collards, some lettuce, and cucumber. Look at these bush beans that are growing. They're starting to get flowers on them. So one of the things I'm doing to try to help with the pest control, other than the chickens, is um, using diatomaceous earth, which is this powder. It's basically like fossilized hard shell algae. You sprinkle it on the plants. It doesn't harm the plants. So it's supposed to somehow dry up the insects. So it helps the insects. I'm hoping it works. So hopefully that'll help with the pest control. I think the problem
problem with using the diatomaceous earth is, uh, you know, when it rains, it just washes off. So, but I figured I'd never tried it before, so I figured I'd give it a shot and um, see if it can help with the pest control at all. So as far as pest control, that's about it. That's all we're doing for now anyways. I mean, there's other uh, organic, natural methods that you could do, but um, for now, this diatomaceous earth, trying to use our chickens, going around and hand picking the bugs off. I mean, that works really well. I mean, it's a little time consuming, but every time we're out here, we make it a point to do a little round and just try to pick them off as best we can. But I do want to say, everyone that's been commenting on all our videos, it's been really a pleasure to read. Everyone's been super nice, really helpful. I just want to tell you guys thank you for that. We appreciate it very much. But we appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time.